Magandang araw sa lahat. Sa araw na ito ay tatalakayin natin kung paano ba mag-add ng dissimilar fraction. Madali lang mag-add ng similar fraction pero mahirap mag-add ng dissimilar fraction. Pero bago tayo magpapatuloy, aalamin muna natin kung ano ba yung mga bahagi ng fraction. Ang nasa taas na bahagi ng fraction ay tinatawag nating numerator, samantala ang nasa ibaba ay tinatawag naman nating denominator. I-review muna natin kung ano ba yung dissimilar fraction. So alam nyo ba kung ano yung dissimilar fraction? Dissimilar fraction are fraction with different denominators. So let's start with the first example. Paano ba mag-add ng one-half plus one-third? Ang una nating gagawin ay hanapin muna natin ang LCD or the less common denominator of the fractions. Para malaman natin ang LCD ng 2 and 3, we get the multiples of two numbers. The multiples of two are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and so on. While the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. When we say less common multiple, ito yung pinakamaliit na numero na magkakapareho ang dalawang denominators. Kung titingnan natin, ang magkakaparehong numero ay ang 6 and 12. Pero ang ating LCM is 6. Our less common denominator or LCD is 6. We will put two fractions with the LCD which is 6. And now we will divide the denominator. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then multiply to the numerator. 3 times 1 is equal to 3. The equivalent fraction of 1 half is 3 over 6. This time we will divide 6 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Then multiply to the numerator. So 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So the equivalent fraction of one third is two over six. Yes, sir. Kung titing ng natin ngayon, we have now similar fraction, which is three over six, then two over six. Dahil similar fraction ng three over six and two over six, we can now proceed to addition. Reminders lang po, in adding similar fraction, simply add the numerator but not the denominator. We can now proceed to addition. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Then copy the denominator which is 6. So our final answer is 5 over 6. Wow! So this time we will proceed to example number 2. Yes sir! Add 2 fifth plus 1 third plus 1 over 6. Thank you sir. In order to solve this problem, we need to find the LCD. In finding the LCD, we need to look up the multiples of the three denominators. Ang ating denominators ay 5, 3, and 6. The multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. Yes, sir! The multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, and so on. Thank you, sir. Then the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. The less common multiple or LCM of 5, 3, and 6 is 30. 30 divided by 5 is 6 times 2 is equal to 12. Wow. 30 divided by 3 is equal to 10. 10 times 1 is equal to 10. So 
10 over 30. Sir, yes, sir. 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. So the answer is 5 over 30. Yes, sir. The equivalent fraction of 2 fifths is 12 over 30, while the equivalent fraction of 1 third is 10 over 30, and 1 over 6 is 5 over 30. Thank you, sir. We can now perform the indicated operation since we have similar fraction 12 plus 10 plus 5 is equal to 27 then copy the denominator which is 30 so ngayon is simplify natin ang fraction into lowest term divide the numerator and the denominator by their common greatest common factor which is equal to 3 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9 and 30 divided by 3 is equal to 10 So our final answer is 9 over 10. This time I'm going to teach you how to add the similar fraction. Trick to do it the fast way. Thank you, sir. So we have the same problem. 1 half plus 1 third. So ang una natin gagawin is to multiply the denominator. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Then we will have cross multiplication between the numerator and the denominator. So 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Plus 1 times 2 is equal to 2. After that, we will add the numerator. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Then copy the denominator, which is equal to 6. So our final answer is 5 over 6. Diba ang dalilang? So we will now proceed to example number 4. Same process pa rin ang ating gagamitin. We have 1 fourth plus 2 third. Same process pa rin ang ating gagawin. We will multiply 4 times 3. Is equal to 12 then 1 times 3 is equal to 3 plus 2 times 4 is equal to 8 after that we will add the numerator 3 plus 8 is equal to 11 copy the denominator which is 12 our final answer is 11 over 12 In example number 5, which is 1 half plus 3 fourth, pwede nyo po itong subukan. So just pause the video, then later on, after finishing answer the problem, you can now play the video. A few moments later. This is now the solution for example number 5. Ang una nating gagawin is to multiply the denominator. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Then after that, we will have cross multiplication. We will start from the left. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. Plus 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Then add the numerator. 4 plus 6 is equal to 10, then copy the denominator which is 8. Take note, our fraction now is 10 over 8, that is improper fraction. Ang ating susunod na gagawin is to simplify that fraction. We will divide 10 over 8 by 2 over 2. So, 10 divided by 2, that is equal to 5, then 8 divided by 2, that is equal to 4. Our tentative answer now is 5 over 4. Since 5 over 4 is an improper fraction, we will convert that one into mixed number. 
how are we going to convert that one into mixed number simply we are going to divide 4 and 5 so 4 divided by 5 that is equal to 1 and 1 times 4 that is equal to 4 5 minus 4 that is equal to 1 so the final answer now is 1 and 1 fourth thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more educational videos